Casey Sampson, a multimedia artist and the founder and creative director of Immersive Me. My practice focuses on creating immersive, interactive and live experiences that push the boundaries of creative technology. My background is in live visual performance and sonography and I've spent countless hours in dark environments spaces entirely shaped by music and light. These experiences have shown me the transformative power of sensory outputs, being able to evoke deep visceral reactions and reshape how you perceive your environment. This dynamic drives pretty much everything I do. I explore how technologies can induce immersion, provoke emotion and make people stop and truly feel. Over the last few years I've been experimenting with AI, interested in how AI can shape emotional responses and create interactions that feel alive. The work Alter is a large-scale multimedia installation presented at Soul Lights Festival in South Korea. The concept's origin was Sparked by a phone call I had to air, I started to question if I was speaking to a real person or not, and in the back of my mind I was wondering if it was an AI. It kind of left me quite unsettled and left me with the realisation of how entangled AI was becoming with our lives. I wanted to create an experience that didn't shy away from this unease, but embraced it a uh, way for people to reflect and accept this transformational technology. Alter reimagines AI as a symbolic object of worship, something that evokes awe, a touch of fear and a sense of being part of something greater. Using synchronized display technologies and a narrative entirely driven by sound and light, the installation creates a ritualistic space where the audience can reflect on their relationship with AI. We're not just coexisting with the technology, but deeply entangled with it in a meaningful, collective way. Alter was in many ways a self-fulfilling creation. The technology it represents became integral to the installation. The conceptual structuring started with what I like to call a bit of sparring, with deep learning models and large scale latent diffusion networks. This really helped shape its visual representation and conceptual foundation. AI, in a way, was an active collaborator. It really helped iterate, problem solve, and refine various parts of work, almost as if it was orchestrating itself. Even the GSL shaders, which I think gave Alter its visual depth, were developed with guidance from neural networks. This removed technical barriers and made the process of creating more fluid. At the experience's core was a digital heartbeat, a rhythm that symbolised life and really helped drive the installation forward despite being imagined and built digitally. I think the result felt deeply human using technology to bridge the gap between the machine and human experience. Alter explores a future where technology is something we use, but also something we experience. The work iterates and evolves almost autonomously. It hints at a future where machines will collaborate, shape creative outcomes in ways that feel a bit more intuitive and even alive. Alter highlights technology's emotional potential. It's not just about efficiency or automation. I think it's about how AI can create experiences that shift perspectives and make us feel something a little bit deeper. Immersive experiences will likely become more dynamic and responsive.
responsive, evolving in real time based on human input. I think the installation asks us to consider are we shaping technology or is it shaping us? I see AI becoming deeply personal, seamlessly integrating into our daily lives. I don't think it will just assist. Uh, I think it will extend our thoughts and creativity, almost making the process of making, uh, thinking and experiencing entirely fluid. At the same time, I think people will crave physicality, something that feels real. I can imagine that technology will try to bridge that gap through hyperrealism and creating illusions, whilst making the digital world feel a bit more tangible. Boundaries between human and machine will continue to blur, and instead of just coexisting, I think it will sort of live somewhere in the middle and will become something a bit more intertwined, almost a, a symbiosis.